Welcome to the Paranormal News on Ecto Portal. Um, tonight's show, just before we do the news, is going to be about the Paranormal Brothers Grimm, mm -hmm. which we're going to explore the dark, twisted, paranormal magic, enchantment side. All the fairy tales of your childhood. That's right. There's more paranormal in there than you remember. Yeah. Or has not yet been Disneyfied. There's a lot behind the, there's a lot behind that childhood imagination of yours when you've heard those tales. There it is. Yeah. So we're gonna do that tonight. If you want to catch that podcast right after this uh, video, there's a link right down below us right there. If you click on that, go to fccfreeradio.com. That'll take you right to the page. You can download the podcast and check out our other shows on it on fccfreeradio.com. Look up Ecto Portal in the top right hand corner. And you can send the links to your friends. Yep, please yep. share. Oh, please share as and much as you can. Go to Facebook. If you want to go on Facebook, look up Ecto Portal. Like our page. Give us some suggestions. Maybe you have a show you want to see us do. We love your feedback and we yeah. want to hear from you. All right, so we're going to get right to the paranormal news. Linda's yep. out this week, but she'll be back. So we're going to get to it. Okay, here we go. We have some interesting articles. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a ghost, I guess, a shadow figure. Uh, shadow figure of a monk was caught in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire pub in England. Mm -hmm. This was on April 5th. Uh, Dan Litchfield and his team, the UK Ghost Hunters Collective, mm -hmm. were investigating a former pub in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire, England, when his team caught a shadow figure on camera in the darkness. And it looks like in the video they're actually setting up, kind of. And yeah. they just catch it in the back of the room. You can see it in the very corner. I saw that. Yeah, they're very sharp figures. They are. Yeah. Uh, the group was even more stunned when another photo in a different part of the former pub in Slaughterhouse showed up on another sus uh, suspected ghoul. Uh, the place was built in 1802. The village served as a slaughterhouse, a malt house, a nightclub, but is said to have been based on a site that was once contained an old barn. Mm -hmm. Under that barn was reportedly a tunnel which led to the Newstead Abbey, located a few miles south of Mansfield. Now, the legend has that the tunnel was used by the resident monks of the abbey mm -hmm. to escape the English authorities during the dissolution of the monastery's period of the late 1530s. The monks fled through the tunnels, sought refuge in the barn. Upon finding them, the authorities burned the barn down with the group still inside, killing all the monks. Now, are these shadow figures filmed by the ghost hunters uh, in this pub troubled spirits of monks who were burnt alive in the 16th century. Uh, Mr. Litchfield from Gloucester said, catching a full apparition on camera is like the holy grail in a paranormal investigation, mm -hmm. but it is. Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing doesn't happen very often. You normally see some things that can be attributed to pareidolia, where you see a shape or a figure when nothing's actually there. Mm -hmm. Matrixing is another word for that. Uh, but the shadow figure was unbelievably clear. It was our first time there. Uh, it is known as a major hotspot in the field and well known as one of the best places to visit, so we had wanted to go. It had been on his bucket list for a while, and the fact that he caught a figure twice in two different spots, ten feet apart, reinforces their sighting. Right. So, uh, what did you think of the figure? I thought if, if okay, this is what I thought did about it. Did you see the picture too? I did see the pictures, and they're very clear. You can even see the profile. Uh -huh. You can see how tall they were. Yeah. If this is what they caught, and this is real, that's gold for a ghost hunter. That was amazing. The that's definition. amazing. Yeah, the definition's amazing. If 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 it's true, they caught it. Now, you you know you and I, we like to debunk first before we actually yeah. believe it. The only other thing I can see to debunk it would be that. The camera did some tricks with the light and it caught their shadows as they were walking around. Or even a shadow on top of a, a shadow. A shadow on top, right. Because sometimes cameras can catch tricks of the light or tricks of, of a shadow or, or your own shadow or somebody else's shadow mm -hmm. and it can appear in a picture. But yeah. it doesn't surprise me a place like that. I mean, if that much tragedy happened, there's going to be some residue left over and eventually somebody's going to catch wind of that residue if they're a ghost hunter. Yeah, I noticed the first one kind of had these dangly things on top of its head. Uh huh. Yeah. It almost yeah. looked to me like shadow of a plant. But yeah, if there's no plant there, then it's not a plant, right? Right, right. The, and the, the second one, like, was really defined as a man. Like the, upper torso. the second one is the one that I really think um, looks the most authentic, you know, like a it, man. But if you took the picture and you didn't see it at the time, that's pretty cool. Then it's pretty cool. Yeah. So let's let them take a look. Take a look at the this video clip and the photographs and see what you think. Yeah.
it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. If it's if it's um, the real deal, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so too. Mm -hmm. All right. Our next story, folks, is a ghost hunter catches a French female spirit in a 16th century hall. Uh, photographer and paranormal investigator Stu Williamson visited Wesley Old Hall in Swaddencote, Derbyshire, in England, as part of a 10-strong ghost hunting team called Haunted Souls. This was on March 31st. Mm -hmm. After calling out to the spirits lurking in the building, he turned on his portable smoke machine and took a, took a flurry of pictures, capturing what he claims is the likeness of a very beautiful and gentle woman called Philippa. Mm -hmm. Mr. Williamson said, when I looked at the pictures at home the following day and came across that one, it was unbelievable. The picture you can see is more or less as it was shot. The full-sized headshot was floating two feet off the ground. I called out to the spirits and took a series of 150 snaps, as you only get a second or two to catch the spirits that come up. It all happened so fast, I connected with two spirits on the night, Philippa and Elizabeth. There was definitely a French connection with one of them, and after calling to Philippa, I captured this. That was his quote. Uh, he's a psycho, psycho, psycho psychometrist, which is psychometrist, someone yeah. who can sense or read the history of an object by touching it, right. and claims to have connected with the woman after touching one of the walls. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, on the night, we, we heard a really, really clear voice. I called out, Philippa, are you there? I think it was her who came through the smoke to show herself. Now, Gresley Old Hall was once a priory where men and women under religious vows would live humble lives dedicated to God. Dating back to the 1100, the site was used as a priory until 1500, then the Old Hall was built on top of what were the ruins once were. Mm -hmm. Gresley Old Hall has been used for numerous purposes, including to make earthenware and clothing. It was also used as a farmhouse and in its time home many farming families. Mm -hmm. Now, what was believed to be the spirit of a Victorian maid who died in the house fire was seen at the house in 2015. Now, medium Ian Griffiths, 47 years old, uh, of a TV crew, caught footage of the woman who was 60 while investigating the paranormal. He said, I got a sense she was really pleased we were there, and she was a very beautiful, gentle woman. I believe she was French and the owner's wife. I believe the ghost are invisible, but if you throw something at the ghost like smoke, it sticks to the ghost. Have we ever have we ever done that when we've been investigating no. throwing smoke? Well, there's a lot of smoke alarms in places, so that's a little bit. Leery. Yeah, because I don't think we've ever done that. But you know, that would be an interesting I know, I experiment. <laughs> oh, yeah, an, an inter interesting experiment. Absolutely. We can take some smoke and see if the apparitions get clearer. Mm -hmm. Take a yeah. lot of pictures. Yeah. Uh, he said, I then came up with the idea of how to light it using a special LED light. After setting this up on the night. I called out to the spirits and was amazed by the pictures that came through. That one was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now, what what did you think of the photograph? You know, if it's if that's a photograph, did a woman I did. I, okay. I saw a woman, and she looked to me like she was more of a medieval figure because she had the high forehead and she mm -hmm. had the type of headdresses that they wore back in medieval days. Mm -hmm. More of a medieval noble woman. Right. She now she, she did have really pretty delicate features. You could you could really see them. So if he really captured something, he captured a pretty good apparition, I think. I thought it looked like a, an alien gray head, like laying down looking straight up. Because you can see two yeah. eyes, two nostrils, and a mouth. Right, but if she, but but those those medieval headdresses yeah. tended to do that. They made your face look kind of, your forehead look kind of high, your and, and your face, face go out. oval. Yeah, they tended That's to true. do that. That's true. I didn't yeah. think about that. Take a look at the photograph. Yeah, and tell, look at it tell again. Tell us what you think. Go ahead and take a look. And tell us what you think of the era. Go ahead.
I mean, you can get different things out of that photo. Right, really. definitely. But like I guess that I, that's what I saw was a gray alien looking up, and you said you saw a woman. I saw a woman, and she looked um, sort of medieval with those medieval headdresses from back right. then. Yeah. But and again, all these articles will be posted on our Facebook page. So if you don't want to watch the video, you want to read the articles, go over to our Facebook page and yes. go to the portal. Okay. All right, Vern is going to take it away with the next two. Okay, and this is uh, the one about the, Dar the um, Derbyshire ghost plane. Okay, uh, an, an old type of aircraft commonly used during World War II has been sighted numerous times over Derbyshire. Reports of the so-called ghost plane have been reported over the county for years with witnesses often describing an aircraft similar to the Douglas C-47 Dakota, a military transport aircraft used extensively by the Allies during the Second World War. Just recently, Sandra Holland reported seeing a large, unmarked, silent aircraft flying straight towards her over the Peak shopping village before mysteriously disappearing into thin air. I've never seen anything like it, she said. It looked like it wasn't running quite right, and it was going to run right into us. It was sideways on, and then it vanished. It was very strange. Another witness, Pam Orich, also saw something strange a few years ago. My son and I were driving along the A6 toward Rowsley from Darley Dale. We, we had just passed Church Road on our left, and well before arsenic forgings and extrusion also on the left. Those are probably those are the names of the roads there. Suddenly in front of us was an aircraft flying very low towards us, so low we thought it would crash into us, but then it banked sideways and disappeared. We could not identify the aircraft other than it was old because it happened so quickly and left us quite shocked. Intriguingly, there have been over 50 plane crashes in a nearby area of the Peak District known as Dark Peak, and some of those have managed to evade explanation even to this day. This region is so notorious, in fact, that it is it has come to be known as Britain's Bermuda Triangle. It's interesting. It sounds like a portal of some kind, almost. It's, it? it does sound like an energy field there. Like where an old plane would dip in and dip out. Maybe you know, who's, who's to say? Right now, I've heard of I've heard of leftover residue when it comes to people, mm -hmm. and I have heard when it comes to ships, like yeah. old ships, yep. but never a plane. So. Well, I guess they could. Well, that's interesting because when I was on the Hornet, they say they have the first helicopter that went into Vietnam and uh -huh. dropped soldiers off. Yes. And it's on the Hornet. Oh wow! And they say they see a man's shadow figure in the in the helicopter all the time. But that's so, a man's shadow figure. That's true. Uh, As if opposed it's a, to energy, you mean? Yeah, if it's a human shadow figure, um, yeah. human energy residue, I can understand, or even an animal, like a shadow, like a ghost figure or a shadow of an animal, but of an inanimate object like a plane or. Mm -hmm. a, I, I'm just, I'm a little puzzled with that, but... I see what you're saying. Yeah, but, um, hey, if they saw <laughs> something and, and, it, and then it disappeared, there who are we to say? Exactly. So. All right. Okay. What yeah. else you got? Second one here. Um, SpaceX satellite launch live feed suddenly cut over a mysterious triangle-shaped UFO. Cameras were filming the launch of the SpaceX rocket at Cape... Uh, Canaver uh, Canaveral in Florida, USA, but the live feed of event was mysteriously pulled after at least three white objects were spotted, according to keen eyed watchers who claim it was pulled deliberately. The launch was successful, but alien enthusiasts spotted something odd on the onboard cameras. The video shows a part of the rocket with the backdrop of complete darkness. Suddenly, in the top right of the shot, a of the shot appear four bright lights moving at the same speed in similar positions. After just a few seconds of showing the orbs, the feed is switched to an animated tracker of the rocket. The UFO team, known as Secure Team 10, investigated the footage after several people sent in the film and asked them to examine the film. Secure Team's Tyler Glockner said, This was sent over to me on by at least 20 people who saw this and said, Whoa! Those are not stars, and in no other part of this footage will you see stars. He added, they immediately cut to this animated tracking system for a few moments, almost as if they are giving it just enough time for this UFO to move out of sight before they immediately cut back to the fed of the rocket. That's so, you know, I, I believe that if there was really some UFOs and mysterious objects, mm -hmm. everybody would have seen it. Mm -hmm. You can clearly see we have a formation of three reflective objects making up this triangular shape. The launch of the commercial satellite took place last Thursday at the Kennedy Space Center at 6.27 p.m. local time. Earlier this year, NASA's live feed of the International Space Station was mysteriously cut 
after some claimed six large UFOs flew past. The launch of the satellite was a historic moment as it was, first, as it was the first successful launch of reusable booster rockets. Historically, rockets have fallen into the ocean after use, resulting in the loss of a machine costing tens to hundreds of millions of dollars to build. Well, let's show you the video first real yeah, quick. Take, take a, look a look at this video. It's in the top right-hand corner of the video. You'll see this guy that narrates it. And those, those lights do look in sync. They I think really so do. Too. Take yeah. a look. At, at no time in this footage do we see any stars or anything like that. Every now and then we'll see some debris coming off of the rocket. It's obvious debris, but at one point, and as was pointed out to me, we do see something much stranger passing by the rocket, and just as it does, the feed is cut. So you're seeing the clip here, and I want you guys to watch just above the rocket here, right next to this time counter up here in the right hand corner. So check this out. And there it is. Uh, and look how quickly the feed is switched back to this animated view that we're seeing here, uh, which just gives us an idea of where the rocket is as it's moving over the United States and over planet Earth. Okay, I think I think it's interesting because yeah. you can see that it's like forming a triangle, right? Just by the lights. And and you know you've seen I've seen um, planes that are that are flying formation mm -hmm. do that, like the Blue Angels yeah, do yeah. things like that. Yep. So if it's um, if it is su supposedly uh, rockets from other places, I mean, or s uh, ships from other places, they were obviously observing this and trying to keep track of each other. Yep, I think so too. Yeah. But, but even if you look at it as lights on a craft, right? You know how lights you can see edges of the craft. Yeah. You can see the, uh -huh. the the size of it. Yeah. Flying behind it, if you look at it that way too. Right, so, and you can see the shape of it too. Yep, exactly. So it's interesting. I mean, NASA's done this before, where they quickly sure. cut away, and then they cut back, and there's nothing there. So I would think NASA would want to keep it. Well, NASA would want to keep it, but if they're hiding something, you know, it's always a conspiracy. You know, I don't know if they're hiding as much as people think they are. I don't think they are. I think yeah. that we could have weapons, secret weapons, and things that. They don't want people to see. That I can see them hiding, yeah. But why would you be experimentally flying them next to Cape Canaveral in a launch bay? I could see years ago <laughs> hiding something because people were very fearful. Maybe they had a different public then, but yeah. I think people are more interested in seeing it now. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's interesting, though, when we see these pop up every once in a while. Sure. All right, folks, that's the Paranormal News this week. I'm going to play us out That here. was fun. listening to us and watching us for the paranormal news and our clips. Uh, Linda will be back next week. Stay tuned. Yep. Uh, YouTubers, if you want to catch this show, the Paranormal Brothers Grimm, click mm -hmm. on the link right below this video and you can catch, download that podcast. It's a worthwhile download. And then come back here next week for more paranormal news. Until then, we'll see you later, YouTubers. We'll Bye. see you next time.